we almost made a huge mistake. Now we're going around and installing more of these braces to just reinforce the boards all around the perimeter of our foundation. You're welcome. This is the product that I'm using to finish my footers. It's a product that's made out of our neighbors up north from Canada. It's called Fast Foot. Uh, it's a fabform.com is their website. This product is also lead eligible and green spec listed. This is what the product looks like. It's a woven fabric and it's waterproof which will keep all the moisture from coming up into my footer and into my crawl space. But this right here is the center line and we'll push this down uh, to the ground and we can nail this in every four feet just to keep the center line straight. And then these right here are your edge markings, so your width of your footer. Um, this is the edge line and we're 16 inches, so this line will be over here on the edge and we'll just tack this down with a 3 8 staple and we'll just hold it in place. And that's how this thing will work. And then we can just fill this with concrete and it forms to the ground. So even if your ground was a little bit unlevel, the concrete will just form to itself. Next thing we gotta do, since we have the fabric down, is we have a 16 inch footer. So what I do is I take this block and I go to the 16, the marking of the 16 on both sides. And we pull the fabric over and then we tack it every 12 inches. And that's how we install this, it's pretty simple.
we almost made a huge mistake when we were framing the 30 by 40 portion we realized on the 12 by 16 bump out that our floor plan needed to change let me show you what i'm talking about this is the 30 by 40 footer and this is the 12 by 16 footer and on our original floor plans we had the wall coming straight in line with this and then going over 16 feet. However, we realize since we're building in the arch cabin that this wall for the bump out actually had to be pushed over about three feet so that when the wall goes straight up and hit the arch, we'd have enough room to put our roof on. And that kind of delayed the build for a while because we had to figure out where that point was gonna be because we didn't want to push it over too far. And another issue that we had is we had to dig out this portion of the of the ground right here in order to move this footer over about four feet. Um, we're back at it now. We uh, took a break and we had some lunch and it was hot before we ended. And so now we are both in shorts. And so now we're going to um, get our fab form into our addition over here. So we're gonna start doing the T intersection cut right here. And Brenda's gonna cut the form or the fabric right now. And we're gonna staple it together. We just finished with the fab form. So our footers are almost finished. We gotta put rebar in. These boards are just in here to keep the wind from uh, popping them up. But this is what it looks like. I think it's a pretty good product. We just fill this with concrete and it'll fill up all these gaps and make this footer waterproof. done we'll smooth that out right there the fabric but yeah actually it was kind of easy once we figured out how to do the corners and the T intersections it wasn't too bad to install well good morning everyone today we're going to be setting our rebar out into our foundation we've never um, done this before or nor have we bent so Matt's going to show you how we do it so I've never bent rebar before I was watching some YouTube videos 
I saw Martin Johnson bending rebar like this, so we're gonna try it out. So that worked pretty good. We're on our way to Home Depot. We need to go get a angle grinder to cut the rebar. Bella, you ready for a ride? Okay, hey. let's go. <laughs> So we just bought an angle grinder. We walked out of the store with it after purchasing it. Then we realized we forgot the blades. That would have been lame. Yes. <laughs> Well, we got the uh, all the rebar laid down, and now we're going to put all these plastic high chairs, just like this, in throughout the foundation, and then we're going to wire them all up. As you can see in the background, we just got done putting up all the braces along the foundation. Uh, we're currently cutting all of the rebar so that we can put that up now for the stem wall. Well, we've got our pile of rebar that we are now going to be bending. So you'll see that the boys are ready to get this job done. Oh. Only 60 more to do. <laughs> 